Hello, this is the Beckstein model L Grand Piano. That's 170 centimeters long, five foot seven inches long, made in 1974. And um, it's a spectacularly good piano, as Beckstein's of that era are. And it was originally mahogany, but it was polyester and it had faded very differently. You can see the original video, which I'll put a link to, of what it was like before when we assessed it for the client and recommended that it would be redone in black. Uh, black is uh, more sought after than. Uh, the thing is with French poly with polyester is that it's if it's a wood colour and you put polyester over the top, it's really difficult then to to get to, if it fades, it's really difficult to do much with it. Um, and this has been done in black because it's really we often redo pianos like that in black if rather than do French polish on, on top of mahogany uh, like that. It, it, it's not spectacular as rosewood. We'll always repolish rose French polish rosewood if it's a high quality rosewood and um, that's just a bit of dust on there but uh, the finish is very uh, obviously very pleasing but it, it isn't it isn't actually polyester it's actually French polish but it, you can't really tell much difference I don't think it had much difference in value uh, between the two we can certainly French polish if you would like us to but it does take a lot longer because there are not many people doing black French polish. Uh, black polyester is much more common. And uh, looking on the inside, you can see it's been fully restored. Um, so the whole piano it looks just like a new piano, really. Uh, you can't tell any difference between this and a new piano, except, in my opinion, a 1970s piano is one of the best sounding pianos ever made. What I mean by that is in the 1970s, there were still a lot of old school piano makers who were. Uh, um, very skilled in their trade and uh, the piano trade is much, obviously much greater um, the further back you go. It was the main ent source of entertainment in the house. Um, so uh, if you're a tuner, please uh, let, let me know what you think. But 70s uh, was one of the best era, especially for Beckstein. Uh, uh, staggeringly good pianos. And as you can see, this has been refinished and it looks exactly like a new piano. So the client in the end decided to have it fully restored as you can see we've changed hammers, shanks and rollers um, and done a lot more work. You can see these checks are also been replaced and lots of felts at the same time. Uh, these have been, been talped over so that they're as smooth as possible. So everything's been done to make it exactly the same as the new piano. Just as good if not better because of the tone. So we're fully restoring it. It's given us the opportunity to reduce the weight. You, if you see the original assessment sheet you'll find this was about 60 grams I think and generally about 60 61 this is now 51 which is uh, exactly what we'd like it to be so between 47 and 52 61 and you can see it's gradually going down let's try the C above it so that's also gradually going down slightly lighter as it goes slightly lighter towards the top so this one will be slightly lighter still um, and then as we go down we'll find it slightly heavier so this is C2 and you can see that's more or less exactly 51 as well. So um, it's very evenly weighted throughout. We go for a plus or minus two grams as the tolerance, but this looks as got, though it's got even closer. The sharps also need to be the same. So going down slowly with 51 grams. So that's the Beckstein model L grand piano, 170 centimeters long, made in 1974. One of the very best periods for Beckstein. I'm very impressed with the tone of them and we've had the opportunity here to fully restore it and I'll put a link underneath to the video before restoration. And certainly worth doing. It's, it's as accurate as as precise as a new piano um, and I think a better tone because 1970s Becksteins are some of the best. If you're interested in having a piano restored, please do write to us, info at robertspianos.com.